Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. This video, we will discuss on who is the best duo in the NBA for this upcoming season. We already know these are the duos we have. Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson in the Bay Area. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. Clippers have not been healthy, thus, okay, we all know that. Ant-Man and Cat, we have those boys from Sentimento, De'Aaron Fox, and Sabonis. We had KD, Devin Booker, Celtics, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Kyrie Irvin, uh... Kyrie Irvin and Luca. That's crazy. I almost forgot his name. Then we have LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Jimmy Butler, Bam, and we cannot forget the world champions. The world champions. Emphasis on that. The Joker and Murray. Okay. Of course, we have the new shit. We got Dame Lillard. And Giannis, which is going to be insane to watch. This up upcoming season is going to be one to remember. One to remember. Mark my words. Which two duos has the least amount of pressure this upcoming season? I would say it has to be the reigning champions. The Joker and Murray. No pressure at all. They deliver the championship. Uh, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, I mean, LeBron's about to be, what, 39, 40? I mean, a lot of people could use that as an excuse, but the duo with the most pressure for this upcoming season, I would say it have to be Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. Besides those two, it has to be Dame Lillard. And Giannis Antetokounmpo because when you decide to join forces right away, it's championship or bust. That's the type of energy the NBA fans are given. No excuses. Of course, we have the bo those boys in the Clippers, PG-13 and Kawhi Leonard. I mean, it's been like, what, five, six years every Every year is the same story every year. Injury, this guy want to play, then he gets hurt. They try to rest them to get ready for the playoffs. Then at the end, <clears throat> it never works out. I'm not sure. Maybe the Clippers' whole organization is cursed when it comes to championship. <clears throat> also, the Boston Celtics, the duel between Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. They have a lot of pressure coming this upcoming season because they are both getting paid a lot of money, right? So, and plus, they have traded Marcus Smart away to Memphis. Therefore, they have to step their game up. I'm not just talking about the offensive end. Also, on defense, you're talking about shot making, facilitating, making the right plays you okay these guys are became real close to winning championship the last few years we've seen them in the nba finals the eastern conference finals so on and so far it's time to take down next step the other team with a lot of pressure have to be the phoenix suns they have built up this at this point super team with kevin durant devin booker Bradley Bill and the list goes on and on it's like okay now if you just like watching pick up basketball isolation Kevin Durant Bradley Bill Devin Booker those are like perfect guys so you you know go to watch highlights go crazy but this team's ex this team actually needed like a real leader you know you understand there's a difference between 
being a good basketball player and a good team leader. Kevin Durant is not a good leader. Devin Booker, at this point, I don't see it. Bradley Bill, we saw him drop 40, 50 point games a lot in Washington, but the leadership part is what this team really is missing. It's a lot of pressure, man. When you have all this talent on one team and you end up not winning it, the media is going to have fun with this one. With that being said, thank you for watching. Let me know what I need to improve on in the comments. Please subscribe, help this channel grow, and thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it each and every one of you guys I'm new to this basketball online stuff you know I'm trying to improve every day you know once again thank you I appreciate it